here we go. The, uh, the pushchair rental and drop off is finished. Um, I apologise. This might look a little bit different to the time lapse. I lost some footage in the time lapse, so I think all you get is the basic building. We've done a little bit more work, so I'm going to show you that now. Um, it's also had a bit of an iteration um, from the end of the time lapse as well. Uh, I spoke to the guys from uh, from Brocoaster, Mass Bandits, and N7, uh, and asked for some advice on this sort of more simple, uh, you know, sort of more subdued building style. And they gave me some great, uh, great suggestions. So uh, we've uh, I've actually done a little bit more building as well. I know for a fact this isn't in the time lapse because I've just done that off camera now um, but we'll talk about that in just a moment so first of all uh, I, I changed the roof here uh, to be just sort of like a simple uh, cornice uh, roof there I put the put the stuff back to English as well I think for big signs like that it kind of needs to be English I think the, the, the Planco stuff we've got can just be subtle around the place but I, I like the idea of using Planco uh, the other thing is that push there isn't a word for push chair or rent or drop off actually in fact <laughs> um, so now we've um, We've uh, changed this a little bit. Originally, I just got a few of these placed around, but um, uh, like I said, the uh, the brokers, the guys made a very good point that really it needs to be a little bit more usable, a little bit more realistic. So what we've got here now is a pushchair return section. Uh, they get slid in there as they come back out. We have extra ones here that are stored uh, behind some rope, and then round the back as well. We've got some more storage there, but we'll look at the back in a little moment as well. Um, so really happy with how it's turned out. This is actually sort of second iteration of this building. I originally built a sort of um, uh, almost like a bizarre type, uh, not not bizarre as in B I Z A W R E, bizarre as in B A Z A W R, like a, like a, an, an Egyptian bazaar or, or or an Arabian bazaar, something like that. Uh, but I realised that I was just being too themed, basically, and you know that's something we could probably do later in the park. Uh, but for now, this needs to be really quite uh, sort of standard design, generic theming, and uh, and we just kind of keep it in keeping with the uh, with the buildings we've already got, which I think it does. Uh, we've gone back to using proper roofs. I think if we did this custom roof everywhere we just we would we'd run out of pilot guns by the time we got to here I think um, so uh, I've gone back for custom roofing but I think it's turned out quite nicely we've still got a little bit of detail like I say and then here uh, we're starting work this will be our first gift shop here right so, and we'll have them um, we won't be an interior but we will have some stuff come and laid out here on racks and things which is something that I see a lot in parks uh, the stock sort of flows out of the shop almost and somebody wheels it in at night uh, somebody made a comment in the video uh, would we be doing uh, wheelchair accessibility in this park seeing as we've got disabled spaces uh, and the answer is um, I hadn't really thought about it but yes that's probably a good idea so we've actually got a, a, a accessible ramp here as well as a few steps up so that's something we're going to try and bear in mind as best we can uh, we've also done a little bit of detail in here I think these bits were on a lot and were on the time lapse but then these weren't but these are basically we've literally just put down a tree uh, just to give the place a bit of height bit of greenery as you'll see in the time lapse these have got um, benches underneath them so people can come and sit on there like that nice bit of flowering uh, again it's something that I, I'm gonna reference Broad Coaster a lot in this because it's really the, the series that made me try this style uh, but one thing they mentioned a lot in as regarding to flowers and and, uh, and scenery and things like that is that green is cheap uh, so for the most part we'll be using bushes in fact if you look out here we don't really have any color in the uh, in the bushwork it's all just sort of bushes and greenery uh, all these areas here uh, along the sides here is just green because uh, green is cheap the second you start including flowers it gets expensive but saying that you do need some flower beds you know so we're going to go for slight flower beds here and here on the main entrance bit so it looks nice uh, and I think they've worked out quite nicely we've used the new spooky lamps uh, so there is something else I want to do in this video you'll see here I have actually put down an ATM uh, but I saw something on reddit uh, that I thought was absolutely fantastic somebody had made a vending machine out of billboards um, out of the screens in fact and I think it's a really great idea so I want to have a go at doing that uh, they used a coca-cola vending machine that they found on online uh, I'm gonna try and go one step further than that and um, so you actually gonna, we're gonna come out of the game for a minute uh, and we're gonna jump into Photoshop okay so I've made an image in Photoshop 1280 by 720 that is the size of most of the billboards I haven't quite worked out the sizes for the windows and things like that yet uh, what we're gonna do is flip that around this is not gonna be a tutorial by the way but I just thought you'd be interested I know a lot of people asked about how I make the billboards so I thought this might be uh, something that you're interested in so I'm gonna open up on the other screen my uh, images because obviously there's stuff in here that I don't really want everyone to see uh, nothing rude you filthy lot um, so let's have a look. We'll just grab these. So I've got some images off um, off the internet that um, they're uh, they're going to be stuff we can use to make the uh, the picture. So let's have a look. We want to go into Plate Coaster. We want to go into Pinewood Hills Resources. 
and then uh, billboards and then editable there we go okay so the first thing we've got is a vending machine itself that is absolutely tiny uh, wow I might just try and find a, a better one of those but actually no this will probably work quite well um, I think uh, we'll, we'll this will be okay so what we're going to do here then is we actually only really want certain parts of it as you can probably tell already uh, we're going to probably make it about that big and that big there at the top and then we will drag it just a little normally I would massively advise against stretching things like that but uh, in this case it's actually going to be okay um, because you won't really see it so we're going to go to a uh, paintbrush and we're going to knock it around there now by the way I am absolutely no Photoshop experts at all. I, I've got Photoshop purely because I need Premiere Pro for my video editing uh, and I have the Creative Cloud so it all just comes as part of that. Um, yeah, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing for the most part. I'm going to make it there and there and we're going to get rid of all of that. Oh, can't even draw in the lines there, John T. Let's do that like so. Okay, so we're going to black all this bit out here, make it all neat. All right, once we've done that, we're going to have to get rid of this cold drinks bit because we don't want that. That's not that's not very uh, panko at all. So we'll slowly just get rid of this using the uh, selection tool, probably a little bit of uh, the, um, the the rubber as well, the eraser. Uh, we're going to keep we want to keep this bit, this uh, the actual dispensing bit, because that is uh, that's going to be looking good, I think. So we'll uh, we'll quickly tidy all this up. Okay, we've uh, cleared all that out. So now we've also got a, uh, a gulpy can image. This is a screen grab from the uh, from the advert that they added when we got billboards. So I'm going to drag this up uh, about as big as it'll go. It's probably going to be about there. Chuck it behind the uh, the other one. There we go. Uh, and now what we need to do is spend a bit of time sort of carrying on this gradient up to uh, either side of the uh, of the vending machine. And last thing I've got is a, a screen grab for one of the actual signs in the game. Uh, I've made it as dark as possible around it so as I can hopefully do this, uh, this, and that'll give us a pretty neat uh, version of it. I mean, like I say, normally this sort of stuff would take a lot longer, but because it's going to be pretty poor resolution anyway <laughs> uh, we should be able to uh, to do it like uh, like so and not really have much of a grief with it so we'll pop you there I think and what we'll actually do is drag you down and we'll move this one down um, like I don't really want it cut out of the too much but I think that's probably uh, not a bad way to do it there we go. In fact, actually, no, do you know what we'll do? We won't have that. Uh, we'll go back. That can be the front, and then because we need to make a side panel as well. There we go. Something like that for the side. Nice big logo. That's a uh, pretty common thing, isn't it, on vending machines to have the logo massive. I would say even a little bit bigger than that. Almost like it's you know too big for the for the uh, for the signs. Uh, something like that. Okay, cool. Right, we'll save them out. Let's jump back in the game and see what they look like. All right, I've popped a uh, little column down because they're very handy to have. And we're going to have a look see how these have worked out. Uh, it's the two meter screen. It's roughly about the right size. Unfortunately, it has a border on it, but I don't think it looks that bad, to be honest with you. So what we'll do is we'll just drag that around to there. Uh, we're going to need three. Uh, we're not going to bother putting one on the back because it's uh, superfluous. I think it was a great word to be using. Um, and we might even just have, uh, we might do a couple of these and have one next to it. So we only have to actually put one on the on the side as well. I'm not too sure yet. We'll see how we get on. But for now, that's how it's going to be. So here's the front. Um, so if we go into our images, we should find, um, we, I've, I, had to, I had to go back and lighten them up a little bit because I, I always forget that. They, they're, they're really, they, sorry, even darken them a little because they come out really light. Um, so we come here, we knock the contrast up a little, and look at that, there we go, we've got a vending machine. Uh, so on the side, we could put side, uh, oops, no, side, there we go. There we go, that's a bit lighter because it's, uh, it's in the sun, so that's okay. So we'll put side, okay, and there you go, that gives you a bit of a better impression of what that looks like. Um, so I've got this window out, I've got a feeling it's going to be too big, yeah it is. So instead we'll get an art shape, uh, flat, 
square. Might be able to go for this one. Yep, yeah, okay, cool. And we'll make you black. And then we can drag it round and up to be our sort of uh, roof or whatever you want to call it. Lid, top. I guess it's just a top, isn't it? And we'll do that like so. And there. Cool. And there you go. We've got ourselves a gulpy uh, vending machine. So we'll use that like that. I might actually come back. Uh, so unfortunately, it does this weird thing where when, you, when you're when you using, moving them, it turns them off sometimes, which is really annoying. Uh, and I actually want them where this ATM is. We're going to we're gonna use the ATM uh, elsewhere, actually. Um, select the building and edit the building. Uh, I put it there as a bit of a placeholder, to be honest, because I, I kind of knew that I wanted um, these things here. Like I say, it might have to go... I might have to make a second one, maybe with some pip shots or something. Uh, you know, like a like a healthy auction. We've got gulpy, uh, and then there's a healthy option of pip shot next to it. But for now, I think we'll just have this one. We're going to have it there because there's a little bit of uh, dodgy uh, dodgy fencing behind that. So that's a good way of covering it up as well. Yeah, I definitely think another. Maybe even two or three we could have uh, next to each other there, but now we just need to turn all these back on. Like that. And there we go, we've got a gulpy vending machine. Nice and bright, bit of colour. Uh, and also it sort of fits in with the sort of uh, smaller, cheaper aesthetic of the park as well, that there's going to be lots of vending machines around as opposed to just loads of shops selling things. You know, sometimes it's easy just for you to come and grab. Uh, grab a drink out of one of these. I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, I think we'll try and do a pip shot one next to it, I think. Um, we'll see how that looks. Okay, there we go. We've now got a pip shot and a gold piece. So you can come and get yourself a healthier option, if you like, next to your uh, your sodas. We'll reuse these throughout the park as well. Might even throw a couple of us together in uh, in the spare time as well. Uh, but there you go. That's what we've done this time. Then we've got our push chair, rental and drop off. Um, and we've got some vending machines. We'll carry on working down this to eventually uh, a larger open area here with a flat ride in it is, is going to be the plan. Um, but we'll do some more work up there. The other thing I did off camera, we're starting to work on some behind the scenes stuff down here as well. Uh, so we now have an entrance point with a keypad and some keep clear signs. We have some staff parking here. Uh, we have a generator as well. We have the Generator 2000 power box. Uh, which is now set up as well and we've started working on some uh, some bin work here and oh look at that somebody has left some rubbish it, oh, oh you cheeky little clear off you go on <laughs> so we've used him as well who said the spooky update has to be used for haunted houses I swear to God I'm getting my money's worth out of it in other places as well uh, right there we go thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed it look at that in the sunset how good does it look thank you very much for watching I hope you have enjoyed it if you have please give us a like it really does help out the channel and if you're not already don't forget to subscribe any thoughts queries or suggestions you can pop them down in the comments and if you fancy a chat you can find me on twitter I'm at John T. Sparrow if you'd like to join in with the geekism community you can do so on our discord server it's been very active this week while we've been chatting around uh, ideas for these buildings here uh, you can find the link to that in the description thanks again for watching i'll see you in the next one